There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one who I have no doubt will lend his support to your majesty's cause. I refer to Waldar, a magistrate. Many a time as Deza demanded Waldor amend the Code of Vermont to her own benefit. And many a time as the Magistrate refused her, for he's loyal to none but the spirit of the law. As a result, he now sits in a cell beneath the palace. Our laws dictate that your Majesty is our rightful ruler. Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor will be willing to vouch for your majesty. What say you? Might you be willing to aid me in arranging the magistrate's release? I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace dungeons. Pray, take this. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Prithee be cautious, your majesty. Should you be discovered, I will be unable to lend aught in the way of aid. Dare not enter the palace, but I would fain escort you to the castle entrance. I must welcome the town's only attendant. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. You know where to find me. This inspires me. Nought but misgivings. This isn't the way to our destination, but I presume you've a new one in mind. Lead on. I'm sure that... Apologies, Master, but you will have to do without us for the time being. So, you've come. Captain Brandt bade me allow you passage. Have you come to release me from this jail? Who are you? Aha! Uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. 
Either the law of our world that allows only one arisen has been upended, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you are lying to me. Have you proof that you are arisen, as you say? Ah. They say the Arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon's claw. By that mark, t'would seem tis true. This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be Arisen. He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true Arisen, the one fit to lead them as their ruler. And what befell him, you ask? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar, whereupon his head was liberated from his shoulders on the spot. Aye, I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be, hmm? Escape? But why? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I can devote all my time to my own interests. And I need not turn my ear to Deesa's absurd demands. Tis a paradise to me, this cell. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes I could delve into, I might rethink the matter. Tell me, does that ring any bells? I suspected as much. Then we are done here. Leave me be. Is this where you've been all this time? It is rather far from where we agreed to meet up. Do take care not to stray so far next time. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah, hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? Gathering clues will be essential to our success in this matter. True enough.
We may benefit from pursuing the information. Methinks I... Is... is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together. But I overslept, and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no, I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. Pockets look full. Malcolm, all he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. I suppose we'll be wanting to report back now. Vault, say. Let us inform Sir Kendrick. Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mentioned rubble, aye? Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. Stone unturned. It is likely there's all we've missed. Indeed. Let us know if we can be of assistance, Arisen. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick? You'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. We ought to follow close behind, lest we get separated. I suppose tis so. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Over here! Heavens above! 
Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? Tis quite the collection of tomes. How do you do? I'm sure I'd be seeing stars, were I the scholarly sort. Indeed, you are correct. Wait here. I'll rush the enemy. Need to give you an opening. Charging in with reckless abandon is more likely to end in your injury than that of our foes. True. And green ish doesn't come cheap. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Keep your voice low, lest my heart leap from my throat. is amazing. I knew I'd find something down here, but I never expected this. The books ne'er seem to end. Who could have brought them here, I wonder? I swear I've never slept better. A common reward, frustratingly so. We'll find a use for it, I'm sure. Every little thing you find in your pack will soon outweigh you. 
Well, I know it, yet I cannot seem to resist. I dare say that's part and parcel of the adventurous trade. You dare! I shall gladly aid you if tis within my power. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. It's a dreary life, this. For all its comforts. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place to hurry the Arisen. Sometimes I wonder if I'm quite happy to be on this. My head will roll if all goes around. On the hunt for the grimoire entitled Towering Earth, are you? One moment. Here it is. Towering Earth, the Forsaken Text. Ah, you may take it. I can cast no magics myself, after all. Left in my care, tis as a pearl before swine. Not to mention... I've already read it. Well, have you found some place I might sate my scholarly curiosities? Oh, to think such a place existed. How oh, very curious. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to be able to find the rest of the way on my own. Thing, making a living as a soldier. Good to see you, Master. Aye, this should be far enough. My thanks. If you truly are arisen, then I swear to someday repay this debt I owe. Words may be wind, 
but there's naught else I can offer you at present. Pray visit me if you've the time or inclination. Mayhap the knowledge I've gained reading tomes of Eld could be of some use to you. Might we not complete our delivery while we're here? I only hope the recipient is pleased with our work. Indeed, you are correct. I ought have enough for a piece of our What should I do? One very thing on the night. The person we're here to meet is nowhere to be seen. Shall we come back later? Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? Come back anytime. Welcome to the Star Drop We serve all manner of fine ales here. Always a pleasure. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom? He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. It strikes me that we have not visited Mel for some time. Shall we stop by and see how... ...its people fare of late. Pray, allow 